Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. I am your holistic guide. I like to talk about food, the nutritional side of healing, as well as the emotional side of healing, and really just creating a healthy home and lifestyle inside and out. And today I'm going to be sharing with you how to dry brush correctly and all the benefits of dry brushing and how I recommend you incorporate it into your day-to-day -day routine. There can be a lot of different things you hear out there when it comes to detox, what should you do, how should you manage your time. If you have any questions about managing your schedule and how to do all these detox things that feel like they kind of pile up on us, I have a separate video that I will link above that talks about how to create what I call like a detox schedule, how to think through what you need to detox on a day-to-day -day basis and how to incorporate that into your life in a sustainable way. But today I'm gonna to be going through this how to dry brush, why is it important, all the benefits, because this is a very kind of basic, really well-known, kind of popularized thing, but it has a lot of power and is one of those gentler ways of detoxing your body that is known to be very supportive in the long run, but it's not super overwhelming to your system if you're just starting out. So let's jump in. Now, what is dry brushing? Dry brushing is basically when you take a brush, usually it's boars, bristles, or sisal, or some kind of like firmer brush, and you actually brush your skin. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you're literally brushing your skin. The reason people have done this is because they've found that it increases circulation. It's known to unclog pores, which helps you to sweat more, which if you've ever heard me talk about sweating, sweating is a very good thing. It means that your body is capable of detoxing. Sweating is a very good detox, but if your pores are all clogged up, you can't do that. People have talked about how it has improved the quality of their skin. It's helped it to become more firm and smooth as well as healed your body of different kinds of stretch marks related to pregnancy and weight gain and all of that and it is also known for its anti-aging effects because of its effects on wrinkles but the biggest and most i think impactful benefit of dry brushing is that it improves your lymphatic drainage what i mean by that is that toxins get stored in tissue they get stored in muscle tissue fat tissue in your body they get stored in your skin and is your lymphatic system, you know, your lymph nodes and your blood circulating through them that helps your body to actually move toxins out of your body. So if toxins get stored in the lymph, lymphatic drainage, supporting all that lymphatic drainage would actually mean helping toxins to move along so that they're not accumulating in those tissues and causing problems because that's when you see things like cancer and different kinds of inflammation. And so we're going for the healthiest, the optimal, and this is a very easy, I would say, very simple and gentle way to do that. So how do you do it? You're gonna need a brush, which like I said, usually it's a boar's brush. Usually they have brushes that are specific for dry brushing. I will link a few below that I think are really good. They make some that you can reach your back because they have long handles so that you can get all areas of your body. And basically you're just gonna start with your feet and move your way towards your heart. So you're brushing in one direction and you're doing long strokes towards your heart, towards your upper chest area. Recently, I actually questioned this. I was like, why, what's the point if your blood is flowing? In general, wouldn't it be good to just like get your blood flowing? Doesn't necessarily need to be towards any direction. Like I didn't understand that, but apparently you're working with the flow of your lymph. And since the lymphatic system helps to get rid of toxins and waste and different things like that, since it only does travel in one direction, you brushing in one direction only up towards your heart would actually support that process and you'll get the most detoxifying results. This is similar to why movement is so important in our day-to-day -day life. It keeps your blood circulating well. Leading a sedentary lifestyle it can be known to cause more toxin buildup because you're just not sweating, you're not moving, you're not getting your blood flowing, and so it really does hinder that lymphatic drainage. This is also why when people get massages, they recommend that you drink a lot of water afterwards. The real reason is that when you get a massage, you're actually having someone manually break up toxin buildup in your muscles, This like those knots that actually, that's where toxins can get stored. And so when you're massaging, it actually can release a lot of those toxins, which is why some people get kind of like sick feeling after they have a massage. Well, it's the same kind of idea here, but it's a little bit more of a gentle process and you're actually using a brush instead of someone's like firm, intense grip 
that makes sense. One thing to know is that you're not supposed to dry brush rashes, any kind of eczema or skin condition like psoriasis, or really any kind of detox reaction that's happening on your skin. You want to avoid areas with rashes just so you don't irritate that area. I actually started dry brushing because someone recommended that it would help with the bumps on the back of my arms. I don't know if what they're called but there's a there's a name for them and i had really really bad bumps they were very prickly on the back of my arms among other things definitely did help so another thing to consider is that you can use a dry brush on your face i have a smaller one that i tend to use for my face it's a little bit softer so it's not as rough but it has helped with acne and reducing kind of like just dirt build up on my skin. It has also made my skin very smooth. If anybody's ever heard of a gua sha, I actually don't have one, but it does a very similar thing in that you're actually stimulating your lymphatic system to drain toxins. So if you've ever woken up like with a puffy face, that's another reason why people will dry brush is because it gets the circulation going, it gets that inflammation down, it helps your body to process some of those toxins that kind of gets built up in different areas of your limb. I will say my skin does feel a lot smoother and a lot of people do report feeling more energy and things like that. It's kind of similar to working out again is because you are able to actually get your circulation moving. So a lot of people would even say doing this in the morning would be ideal. I kind of do it whenever I want to do it. But if you are a little bit more sensitive and you feel like you would be easily stimulated, then that might not be a good idea. Another good time to do dry brushing is right before a shower so that you're actually able to get the dead skin off of your skin before you Wash yourself is kind of a routine that I've tried to get, get into the habit of, or at least doing them before baths so that I'm really able to absorb as much as from the bath that I can. I also had the question for a while, like how do you wash a dry brush, which is honestly a very valid question because probably a lot of people just don't wash their dry brush. Oh, you nasty. I basically will take a bowl of soapy water and just some non-toxic Bronner's, a little bit of soap in there with some hot water and stick the br dry brush in there upside down. And then I will actually leave it with the bristles down on a towel to dry so the wood doesn't get all moldy and gunky so that it can really just dry properly. That's worked really well for me. You can put tea tree oil in there. I guess that can sanitize it a little bit, but it's not really necessary. Just doing some soap and water is great. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more nutritional and emotional healing content like this. As always, it's my passion to walk alongside people as they heal and grow. It inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you. Thanks for watching.